Hi Raju. I myself Srinivas from uh, Vijayanagaram, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, and basically, I am a post graduate, and since 15 years, I am in the business line. Basically, a food processing unit. But somehow, I am not satisfied with that, you know, uh, profession wise. So slowly, I was converting myself to a farmer. So even the normal conventional farming is what which I feel is not apt in the current situation because we are even we too have to upgrade to the latest farming technology. So in the due course, I was searching for uh, a right place where I can learn advanced farming technology, and I came across CV Hydro, so, and I landed up. Thank you, Srini. Uh, where are you from? I'm basically from Vijayanagaram. It's a town in uh, Andhra Pradesh, 60 kilometers from Vishakhapatnam. Okay. And why did you enter into agriculture, and why especially soilless? So basically, since last 10 years, I am in the business line. Doing uh, manufacturing, I was basically in the first started. I was actually thank, uh, to start with. I did my post graduation in Germany, MS Electrical. I came here, started my own business in the mango pulping industry. Uh, due to the current economic situation and policies, etc., etc., the business is not so comfortable. So I thought at the end, some point of time, that agriculture is one field that doesn't go up. As long as uh, living, I mean, human beings are there, there is a demand for crop, whatever the crop is. So my interest towards agriculture has slowly grown up and I started taking trials in the soil cultivation. Whatever I find, some seeds I used to sow it, I used to get some output. But I really don't know how to diagnose the problem. You know I don't know how to diagnose the problem or so that is where I thought, okay, the farming is not an easy subject. So at least this generation should learn what actually the farmer, farm, farm, farming is. So started in search of the right person who can guide us, teach us. So while I was going through, I came across CV Hydronics. So after interacting with CV sir through telephone, I thought, okay, I'll take this 90 days course with you. Okay. Why? Why do you? What do you want to accomplish with this 90 days training program? To know the technique of farming. To know the technique of farming. So technique in the sense is not like just sowing the seed, getting the plant. Technique is something to what, how efficiently we can get the yield from the plant. How efficiently we can diagnose the plant with minimum pesticides. This is what I want to learn. Uh, I think like there is no time limit for me. I actually, as I said, it's 90 days. If sir permits me, I'll stay here for six months. One day. Great. <laughs> no, I don't mind. Nice. Uh, do you have any experience in agriculture? No, not really. I'm starting, uh, I started with the soil cultivation. It's a, like a hobby. I have some small open land. I used to sow all sorts of seeds. Even windy, watermelon, tomato. I used to sow all sorts of seeds. Something used to come out of them. But how efficient it is, Nobody knows. Okay. And do you also come from an agricultural family? No. Maybe my ancestors. Maybe. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your uh, experience or journey of this 90 days training program. I know that you are not, uh, you, you just started about 15 yeah, or 20 days back. 20, 21 days has come. Yeah. So how was your experience really so far? Enjoying it. The first weekdays was, uh, it was confusing. Like thing is, it, the, the way it's taught here is something different. Thing is, uh, we have to expose ourselves to the problem. We ourselves should find the diagnosis for it. So, in that way, I am very much happy with that because, especially in the last one to ten, uh, one week to ten days, I have come across few bottlenecks where I was able to diagnose on my own. So that has built up my confidence. Okay, I can also diagnose the problem. So I can find my answer. So that will have a real impact in, in, the, long, the, in the long run also. Yeah, in the long run. Because if somebody keeps on giving a lecture and we keeping on writing the notes, that really doesn't help us in the practical work. So that is why uh, I'm very happy with this. 
Great. And with this uh, 90 days training program, I think you also had a chance to be part of the boot camp, Mission Haldarak boot camp. Uh, what was your learning experience from the boot camp training? Sir, uh, uh, Rajiv, I would say that even though it is a four day camp, it is something like a tsunami of knowledge. <laughs> See, the thing is, if we just, although it is a four day camp with uh, morning 10 to evening 4, but the knowledge, the flush of knowledge coming out from CBSR's interaction is that we can't, uh, this is very valuable. The thing is, just make a note of whatever he's saying, just go back, rewind it. That will give you a lot of knowledge. And I was, I just attended the last boot camp, and the knowledge he has shared in a flow, I have been writing the notes and I said, oh, this is what. Really good. What are your top three takeaways from the boot camp? Takeaways in the sense. What are you? What did you learn? The topmost three insightful or maybe some the amazing things. Thing what I learned from the boot camp is spend maximum time with the plants. Number two, do as much scouting you can, so that the bonding between the plant and you grows up. So the day one, when you are in continuous contact with the plants. When you are doing continuous scouting and when you are integrated pest planning at sea, ultimately when the scouting is done, you will come out with the problems. So immediately you will attend with the pest management. When that pest management is running good, you will have good yielding, good crop. So these are the main subjects which, main points which I understood from the boot camp or spending this 20 days is, spend maximum time, do as much scouting you can, stick on to the IPM. Perfect. Thank you. And uh, your thoughts about CV as a teacher? Uh, how do you find his style of teaching? It's different. Sir. It's different. To tomato sauce is also different, Maggie. No, it's not that. Uh, like, he is not a teacher. He is not an instructor or something like that. He he teaches. I mean, like, it's, you can't say it's a teacher. He he allows us to, he quest, I mean, he asks us to face the problem on ourselves. So it's not like teaching, writing your notes, he giving a lecture, it doesn't make any sense that anybody, any university will do that. But frankly speaking, what I learnt in 10th class, I don't remember now. Until unless I face that problem. Until unless I come across a, come across a situation where that 10th class formula or intermediate formula is required, again we'll refer the book and then we'll refer. But here it is from the reverse side. What you will say is, you first face the problem, then search for the solution, so that that will be in your mind. So, it's different. Uh, it's not like we can anything comment upon its teaching style, but it's good. Thank you. Uh, how does CV respond to your mistakes? He guide us in a does he allow you to make mistakes? Sure. He wants us to make mistakes. What are your next immediate steps after completing the 90 days training program? No plans as of now, sir. Spend as much time in different crops. Take with the techniques or with, with the knowledge I gained here. I would like to take a time of 6 months or 9 months or 1 year. Try on different crops. Once I feel comfortable that okay, I can go for the commercial farming or I can start up something in the hydroponics, then I will. There is no immediate plan for it. Okay, still, so you would be basically practicing yes. little more than yes. what you learned here. What What's your thought about this 90 days program? Why do you think it is different? Uh, uh, see, thing is, nobody gives 90 days practicals. Even if this... Uh, so-called universities or uh, institutes, they do offer some three days crash course for hydroponics. Some people will give the one day course for hydroponics, charging some fancy figures. But that doesn't really help us. So, this 90 days course is one of its kind. And whoever can avail it, interested to avail it, it's a better option. Thank you. Have you heard about such a program run anywhere in India or Asia? Would you recommend this program to anyone? Anybody is interested, person. 
what's your message for people who are interested they have to try this they have to feel this environment whoever even me or ash or lokesh or vijay whoever have come here they came with some thought that okay something they will teach us here they will like they will guide us here but once you enter into the farm it's complete different and they have to feel it it's nothing like if we say uh they say that okay swinwas has already assessed and okay then they sound like that. come with an open mind think that you are nothing zero in this field come with a blank slate then you will go with the filled up slate thank you shrini thank you so much